Okay, so a client brought me their computer. Uh, this is it right here. Uh, what's happened is the HDMI port on the motherboard has been broken off. It's supposed to be right there and it's broken off. Um, when they brought it to me, they uh, they couldn't find it. I actually found it. It was uh, up around here. It had kind of gone up that way. And um, this is it here. Um, so it uh, it broke off. It's not in very good shape. And the likelihood of me being able to resolder it back onto the motherboard right down there is, uh, is not good. So basically... They already tried this at their place. Uh, they told me that they tried hooking up their monitor to uh, this VGA port here. And I did the same thing, but let me go ahead and show you what's happening. So ordinarily, you could plug in your monitor there, give the computer power, and turn it on. And this is connected to this monitor right here. So the computer comes on, but no signals go into the monitor. So basically you're just getting a black screen. Uh, if I come up here and look, there's a hard drive activity light right there, which is flashing, which uh, pretty much indicates to me that the computer is booting into Windows, which, I mean, that's good. That's a good sign. So what I'm going to do is just let it boot into Windows, and once it's uh, at the login screen, I'll be able to press the power button again and get it to shut itself off. Looks like occasionally um, the screen is uh, turning black and then going back to the no signal display detected. Um, and that tells me that it's trying to output a signal, but it's just not quite getting there. I'm going to go ahead and press the power button. And on most computers, that will uh, shut the computer off. You can make it so the power button also puts the computer to sleep, or that it does nothing. Um, you can do that in the power settings in Windows. Making it so the power button does nothing when you're in Windows uh, is a good thing to do if you have small children who uh, like to press buttons. Um, I've had that happen a few times with the kids. You know, daddy's working on something on the computer, they come up, press the button on the front of the computer, and the computer shuts down. It's kind of a bummer. Okay. So it shut down, so it went through the window shutdown process and turned itself off. Um, I don't think it did a, a sleep mode because it took a little bit too long. Generally sleep mode happens within a couple of seconds of pressing the power button if that's what it was doing. That felt more like a, a window shutdown, which is good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try plugging in a video card into this PCI Express slot right here and hopefully that will give me a uh, video. Uh, the thing is, this is a um, kind of a low profile computer and most video cards are called full height or is it half height and full height? I don't remember. This is this is a shorter video card but you know the card itself is uh, is the shorter version but it has this extra part up here where it could go into a full size PCI Express um, expansion slot. So what I'm going to do is take off this part right here which is a, a VGA connection and I'm going to take off the, uh, the face plate. So this is just held in by some like nuts. I guess they're screws. Yeah, they're screws. I'll take these off. And these aren't in there very tightly. Um, you can loosen these up with needle nose pliers or a nut driver. Uh, so basically taking that off, and it's also held in with a screw here. All right. So that's the faceplate. Put that there. Okay, I'm going to drop this in. Just like that. So there's nothing really holding it in place. It's just kind of flopping. 
but just as a, a quick test to see if this is going to work, that's fine. All right, so I need an HDMI cable, which I'm going to kind of hold on to the video card with my finger as I put it in. Now let's go ahead and give it a keyboard connection and a mouse connection. And turn it back on. And this is actually HDMI, so it's going up to my monitor here. Come on, video. Okay. Got a little blue activity light and looks like the BIOS. Okay, good. This is great. It's going to boot into Windows 10 here. Okay, so I've had to cut out um, part of it where it went into Windows because it showed my client's name and all their icons on the desktop and everything like that. So what I've done here is I've started up um, Windows 10 settings in the background just to cover everything up. And I started Device Manager by right-clicking on Start and going to Device Manager. So when it started up, it loaded a basic driver because it didn't recognize the new video card. Um, but within a couple of minutes, it had, I'll look under display adapters here, it had located a driver for the video card that I just put in, and uh, it's running at full resolution. So it looks like this video card's going to work fine on the computer. Um, what I'm going to do is get the computer shut down, and we'll deal with the faceplate issue. And what I mean by the faceplate issue is that at the moment the video card's in there and it's working, but there's uh, really nothing holding the video card in place. I can just use my finger and move it. So let's get everything disconnected from the back. All right, so to take the video card back out, this is fairly typical um, for motherboards. There's a, a little tab that you pull down on, and that allows you to then lift up on the video card. Otherwise, this little piece of plastic fits right there and won't allow it to come out. So a way to secure the, uh, the video card in place. There's a few other ways. There's um, ones that you push down on, which then allows it to eject, but this is fairly common that way. All right, so what I need to do is take this faceplate, which typically goes like that, and then would allow you to secure down the, uh, the video card with a screw and um, shorten it up and uh, kind of bend it and maybe cut some pieces off of it to make, uh, make it securable uh, in this, this case. So at the moment, this is what I'm dealing with. So it should come down like this, kind of go down to the other side of the motherboard and kind of sit like that. So in a full-size case, it would be, you know, the case would be this tall, and then you would use a screw to secure it to a hole like that. But what I need to do is make this faceplate work in this case. Now, when you buy uh, one of these video cards that are made to be, go into shorter cases, I can't remember if they're called half, half height or low profile, um, they'll give you a faceplate, an extra one, that will fit in these um, half height slash low profile um, cases. I do not have a faceplate that uh, that came along with that video card. I'm not even sure where I got that video card, but it works. So we're going to use it. So what I'm going to do is bend this over, cut off this part right here, but first bend it over so that I can put a screw through that hole right there and kind of catch on to some of this uh, this metal to secure it down. So the bend needs to be approximately just below this hole right there on the faceplate. So I'm going to bend it down this way. Once I get the bend done, I'll worry about cutting off the excess and making it so that I can secure it. So let's go ahead and pull that out and we'll just kind of keep a mental note. We need to bend it approximately there. So let me grab a couple of tools here. Pliers and some cutters between these pliers and this plier. I should be able to get the bend about right. 
This is going to be kind of approximate. Okay, it's bending. Looks like it's bending about the right spot. Hmm, it's kind of... I think I need to get some better pliers than these. These are kind of spindly. I need some thicker, beefier pliers. I'll be right back. Okay, so definitely kind of bent it improperly there. Okay, so something like that. I've got some vice grips. It should give me a solid grip here. Okay, and I've got some, I think these are called channel locks in most of the world. Might be wrong about that. Okay, so I need to be bending it this way. Oh yeah, it's giving me a lot better grip. So something along those lines. And this part up here can just go, so let's get snips here. I'm thinking probably there, not likely to go all the way through, but if I score it with these, I should be able to then bend it back and forth until it fatigues. I lost my monitor. There we go. Okay, so good score there. So now I should be able to kind of get it like this and Kind of go back and forth. There we go. One snapped. Okay. Get that off. Man, that was on there. All right. Let's see how we did. So it should go. Lift it up here. So it should go through like that down to just to the other side of the motherboard and down that's not awful it's pretty close so basically I need to shorten up the bend a little bit and get it to come down really all I'm looking for is to be able to put a screw through this hole that will catch a piece of metal here so we might actually be there if I can get a, a screw a little bit further down. Let's, let's see what we do about this. Maybe put, put the bend a little bit further down. Let's undo that just a little bit. Okay. So we need the bend closer to there, I think. Okay. Get our big channel locks. We'll kind of undo that bend. Anytime you're working with metal, you don't want to bend stuff too much. Like when we, uh, we put those scores in there and then we bend it back and forth, it just broke off. It's called metal fatigue. And if you bend something back and forth too much, it will always break. So, Straighten it out a little bit. I'm going to change my grip on the metal to be a little bit further down, just slightly. I'm going to redo my bend. Also, when you're working with metal, be careful because. Uh, it gets sharp, especially as you start bending it. Okay, so we need to go this way, like that. Down and down. Okay, something like that. Try that 
that test fit again. Down. Okay, that's pretty close. Just about there. I think that's good enough, actually. So what I'm going to do is reattach this to the, uh, the video card. And I'm going to put a screw right down through that hole right there. Not sure y'all can see this. Through that hole right there, which will catch this piece of metal. And as long as we can... Let's see. The thing is, if I do that, then the HDMI port is covered up slightly, so it needs to be like that. So really, this piece of metal needs to come off right there. I'm going to make a cut right there, but that should still give us enough um, to catch with the screw head. Alright, so let's give that a try. I'm going to take my snips and do... this. Let's give it a good... work it back and forth until it breaks off like that okay back in down oh yeah that'll work so the screw will go right through there and the head should catch that piece of metal I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece this part right here off it's kind of sticking out does not need to be there A good score and take it off. All right, so let's get this reconnected to the video card like that. So there's a screw there and two screws that go there and there. And these guys are right here. I think I dropped the other one. We'll have to look. It's down on the carpet. If I can't find that one, I'm sure I can find one in my box O screws. That'll work. Okay, so those are down. I'm going to go ahead and give them a little tightening. Just slightly. So they're not coming off. All right, and yeah, I definitely dropped the uh, the little screw down here. Probably don't really need it. Yeah, it's on there pretty well. I don't think we really need it, but it would be nice to have. Yeah, we're gonna go without it. Not a big deal. to go up under here and uh, we got a little bit of an issue we're probably gonna have to do this hmm the thing is the, the height there is not ideal hmm what can we do about that let's bend it down just a little bit this part right here. I'm just going to take it and bend her down. Let's see if that makes it go. Kind of having to put it in sideways and in. Sorry if y'all can't see this. It's difficult with the angles, but we'll get in there. It's kind of cockeyed. Okay. Not 
quite wanting to go. Okay, let's take that back out. What's going on here? Thinking maybe this is not going all the way. Let me see, bend it this just a slight little bit. So I'm trying to get this to go into that little notch down there in the case to the right of the motherboard. And I'm thinking it's not quite aligning. Okay, so that felt like it went in. All right, I think that got it. Uh, not quite. It's definitely in there. Well, let's see if it works. What I'm going to do is grab a screw and some pliers or a screwdriver. That get it. That didn't catch. Crap. Oh, it's not. It's like the the faceplate isn't going down into the motherboard enough. Let's see, I wonder if I. Loosen this up slightly. Will that be enough to get it? Huh. Weird. Take it back out. This case is kind of floppy. Okay. So, it's like this part right here is too long. It's weird. So if I push it up and then tighten them down, will that give us the right tolerance? I kind of don't want to like cut that off, but that may be what I end up doing just to make it fit. It's like this faceplate and this computer don't quite want to align. Yeah, it's like, it just will not go down enough. Okay. Back out. Let's go ahead and give her a cut. This guy right down there. So, same deal. I'm going to kind of try and make it straight. Give it a good score. And I should be able to That's probably not enough. Let's try that again. Up a little bit further. Okay. Give it a good grip. And some good pliers. Work it back and forth. I don't think I scored it well enough.
coming. There we go. Okay, so we got off a good bit of that. That looks a whole lot better. It's pretty much down. But now do we not have enough to catch that? Let's see. Screw. Okay, looks like this is gonna work. So really we're just tighten it this down until that doesn't flop around. It's in there good. It doesn't have to be super tight, but as long as it's not moving around where it's going to come out, we're good. All right. Let's give it power. And HDMI in. Good. The keyboard mouse and internet and power on so we should get a signal over here yep good we got video and it's going into windows okay well I think we can call that a successful fix the computer is back up and running Looks like the uh, the cooler's got some some dust in it, the CPU cooler. So I'm gonna blow that out, uh, get the computer cleaned up, get the top back on it, and uh, give the customer a call. Thanks for watching.